Now, the man suspected of opening fire is under arrest, all because of good Samaritans who stopped and tried to catch the suspect. And now we have new video to show you of the chaotic scene on the freeway moments after the shooting. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol joins us with that new video. Dana Marie. Well, good afternoon to you both. The video we're about to show you, I do want to warn you, is disturbing and graphic, but it really does paint a clear picture of the moments right after the officer was shot. And as you said, those good Samaritans helping him as the officer is down laying on the freeway. Let's see if they have a tourniquet in that car, a proper tourniquet. I've got one in my bag. In your bag? In the back. In the back. In the backpack. Back the chaotic scene on the 8 freeway as cars are zooming by. The man you just heard in blue scrubs asking for a tourniquet is a Scripps Grossmont nurse. I spoke to him this morning who says he was on his way to work when the officer was shot. He quickly pulled over to help him, making a makeshift tourniquet by cutting up his backpack. Meanwhile, other citizens were holding down the suspect who is now being identified as a 25 year old male from San Diego. In a press conference last night, CHP expressed how grateful they were for a group of good Samaritans that jumped in to help the officer. A suspect was in custody when right after the shooting happened. Now, of course, the last update we received is that he was in stable but serious condition here at Mercy Scripps Hospital. Of course, we have a lot of questions this morning about what happened, especially what led up to the officer being shot and brand new news just in. We're learning that there is a GoFundMe account being set up by a good family friend. Now this officer is Officer Pacheco. He's an eight year veteran on the force. He has two young kids and a pregnant wife. We've seen CHP officers in San Diego police in and out of this area and we just saw what seemed to be his wife get into a patrol car and drive away from here at Scripps Mercy Hospital. Now police tell us that there will be an update very soon giving us a clearer picture of exactly what happened if that car crash that that officer was investigating during right before and after he got hit if they had anything to do with that. So of course stick with us here on CBS 8 as well as online and use our app for any updates and we'll post those as soon as we get information. I'm Dana Marie McNichol live from Hillcrest.